Good morning, Karmic Psychics. How are you all this wonderful Monday morning, the 23rd of January? I hope that you are keeping well and that you've had a wonderful weekend and that you are in a good place, in a good state of mind, a positive state of mind for this week ahead. So let's not waste any more time. Let's see what the planets are saying and let's see how all star signs will be affected this week from the 23rd of January till the 29th of January. So as you know, Mercury retrograde is no longer upon us and Mercury is now direct since the 18th of January. It is in the Nakshatra Purva Ashada in Sagittarius until the 4th of February and then it will be moving slowly but surely into Capricorn. So Mercury is going to be with us until the 4th of February in Purva Ashada Nakshatra. Sun is in Uttara Ashada from the 11th of January. It was here until the 24th of February. Now Sun in Uttara Ashada is in Capricorn. So Sun is still in Capricorn and on the 24th of January it will move into Shravana Nakshatra in Capricorn until the 6th of February. So I would say from tomorrow and Wednesday that this is a time when work situations or work topics for all star signs may be um, something that you will think of, perhaps a slight job change or added responsibility. So from tomorrow next and Wednesday, you may decide that with work there could be some slight alteration or changes good sudden opportunities also with that i would i would uh, i can see and uh, if that is the case then please do write in to me through my website www.karmicpsychic.co.uk um, and it's nice that all the listeners that have started now writing in to me um, and letting me know how the stars have impacted them. So this is wonderful to know um, and for you to also have a self-realization of um, how the planets can work for you. Um, as for Venus, Venus is still in Aquarius in the Nishta Nakshatra and it is here until the 27th of January. Now, Venus will, uh, on the 27th to the 2nd of February, well, Venus will move, still in Aquarius, but move into Shat, Shat Abhishak uh, Nakshatra. Now, when this happens on the 27th, this is around Thursday, Friday, Saturday period, this Nakshatra, Shat Abhishak, is meaning 100 physicians or special healing powers. Now, this uh, energy of Venus can bring a lot of healing to those who are not well. This is also a time for those who, again, when it comes to work, suddenly there could be some slight changes at work. Perhaps you will be working or collaborating with people uh, in this week or going to seniors who may be able to advise you better on how to um, to take on your dreams within the workplace. So I would say by Thursday, Friday, for many of you star signs, this is a very positive week in order for action to take place. With regards to Jupiter, Jupiter is still um, in the 12th house and it is in the Uttara Bhadra Pada Nakshatra and it will be going into Pada 3, from the 21st, which was actually a few days ago, from the 21st of January until the 8th of February. Now, when Udra Bhadra Pada 3 is now uh, the transit, here, this, according uh, to the Navamsha of Bhadra 3, of this star, it is ruled by Venus. It is ruled, uh, it is the Libra Navamsha uh, of this nakshatra. Pada 3. So based on that, this week, again, there could be some restoration, balance in relationships, love relationships, work relationships. You could get favours from your seniors. You could also perhaps uh, get new work opportunities or collaborations with sudden, sudden collaborations with friends or new 
uh, associates. Um, there's also for many of you signing of contracts this week, important contracts, maybe work related or even marriage related. There will also be um, a new love interest for many uh, or a new love interest through work. So this is also another thing to look out for. With regards to Rahu and Ketu, as the as still they are still in uh, Bahraini and Swati Nakshatra in the first and seventh house Aries and Libra, one seventh axis until the twentieth of February. So we can discuss that in more detail um, as next week comes. Now, what I wanted to say is with this transit this week, how will it impact all star signs? Now, as a quick overview, I will say that for Aries, this transit based on Aquarius Ascendant, if you can all look at your forecast based on the Ascendant uh, for this week, um, I feel that it will resonate more with you as we are looking at the actual planet, actual planet transit. Um, so uh, this is how it looks. So for Aries, what I can see is this week will have a huge impact on your family life or gains from foreign lands elder brother uh there could be some help that you may need to give in in that area for many areas as well this is a time when you will have to be very diplomatic in your workplace um and not take sides because i feel this week um your diplomacy can in the long term this year um, give you good rewards if you play neutral. If you start supporting groups this week, Aries, it will actually in the long term not work out very well for you. With regards to relationships, um, an old relationship uh, can be renewed or restored this week. There is also a huge chance that your work, uh, a new job, or a new sudden opportunity again is going to arise for you. Aries, I can also see for many of you that short travels can also take place or booking a holiday away suddenly um, for work can also take place. For students, this is the time when you may be studying more than one more than one subject or having an interest to do two different subjects and you will have to balance the two. For those who are uh, not in a relationship, this week can bring you suddenly a new uh, love interest uh, from work. And as for health issues, this week is all about the lower back, the nervous system. Coming to terms and dealing with your anxiety, perhaps through meditation, yoga, and also socializing with powerful friends who can return a favor to you that you have long time ago done for them. This is your week of getting a sudden favor. For all Aries, this is a good week for hearing good news, sudden news that can work for you. Sudden job opportunities are also here. For those who have children, this is a week where you will have to be patient with your children and you will have to be more nurturing with them. Also, this is a good time for those who are applying for overseas visas or traveling abroad. This is the good week to get positive news or to sign the relevant papers so that you can, in the long term, um, get soon uh, good news do take care of mother's health Aries uh, this week any concerns with their health um, also this is in the stars okay so moving on to Taurus Taurus this is a week where finances home life can be a bit tense there could be some misunderstandings and this is the week to clear them out. Uh, it also looks that your health, your stomach, your lower back, your 
deficiencies perhaps in iron or, or uh, vitamin D, perhaps you need to take more care and take uh, professional advice on your diet, I would say, because there seems to be a quite a lot of lethar- lethargic energy around you. Um, and this could be because of a deficiency. Are you eating enough fresh food? Are you eating enough of the right food? This will be a question for you this week. For those who are studying, this will be a good week to discuss um, any issues that you have with your studies with seniors so that you can improve your grades. There is a lot of discussion around that for students. For those who are married, I can see that uh, expenses, uh, you savings uh, discussion is here, uh, especially when it comes to house renovations uh, or extensions. Uh, you may meet uh, builders or meet uh, planners who can help improve the house. For those who are single, uh, a relationship with a friend could suddenly become more intimate this week. So this week, be careful. There could be some unexpected proposals uh, for you, but enjoy this week nevertheless. And as for for those in Korea, I would say that this is a time of changing of career or thought of changing of careers or um, or juggling two careers. Um, and this week, you can get a few contracts, a good deal. Uh, and I would say to you that don't get nervous. You can do it all. Don't be nervous. Um, you will certainly uh, feel that you're progressing in the right direction this week. Confidence for all of you Taurus people this week. Come on, if you believe in you, so will others. Okay, moving on to Gemini. Gemini, this week, I suggest that you sit down and write things down in your planner. You have committed yourself or overcommitted yourself to so many things that financially, uh, or even with regards to your energy, you need to actually write down exactly what your expenses are. Work opportunities will suddenly come. If you've applied for jobs last year even and you never heard anything, this is the week when you could suddenly hear of uh, an old company asking for you to come back or an agency or something like this asking you to uh, apply again. Um, because there is some vacancies um, and they would like you to uh, to try for the jobs. Um, in regards to those who are self-employed, this is a week of transformation. I think you're almost like closing your door on one profession and going into another. With regards to health, this is a great week for you to take care of your health, to take on a new diet, a new health regime, to get professional advice um, on your eating patterns uh, and also to get some insight uh, with a group of people where I feel that your advice to them will be importantly, uh, will be very important and importantly, uh, you yourself will feel that your, your input to others has a profound effect on their life. So your importance and socialising this week is going to be extremely successful for you. For students, I would say this is a week where you will uh, easily absorb information um, and be excited to take on your projects. This is a good week for you. In terms of uh, health, I would say look after your, um, your time management so that you don't burn yourself out, Gemini's. Uh, with regards to family, I can see here that father's health may, may be under the radar. Uh, make sure he is well and, um, and keep your communication flowing. There is also some discussions with uh, law, the law, perhaps some contracts or some clarity you need in contracts this week. That will also be here. Uh, so read the contracts properly before you sign anywhere. 
Moving on to Cancer. Cancer, this is a great time for you to enhance your business. This is a great week for you to get in contact with the right people, to add added value to your existing work. For those who are employed, your managers will be impressed with your initiative and your proactiveness to do things. With regards to relationships this month, uh, this week, home life, you may feel it's a bit disturbed. Uh, you're feeling quite isolated in getting your feelings put across. Uh, however, I do feel that uh, with a bit of patience and effort, you can, towards the end of this week, discuss important topics with your partner to clear the air um, and to move forward in a healthy way. With regards to your finances, there will be discussions with banks, perhaps, or with, uh, with loan companies about your existing financial situation and how to make it easier for you uh, with regards to loan repayments. This is also indicated You may also be wanting to book a holiday away a week uh, away uh, this week, and I feel that a week away uh, of a holiday for you uh, will make you feel that uh, this may improve uh, your or uplift your spirit, should I say, this week. With regards to students, you will get good help and aid to further yourself in your projects this week from teachers if you seek their advice. You will definitely get it, Cancerians, this week. With regards to mother's health, um, avoid jumping to conclusions. Look after mother's health. You may have to take her to her hospital appointment. Also, this is indicated. Okay, now moving on to Leo. Leo, this is a very interesting week for you. Here I see that you can work very well. Uh, working with other female figures. I feel that lots of people will feel empowered by you, uh, whether you're a man or a woman. You will be definitely, your communication skills with, the, with your colleagues and people around you will be much appreciated and your efforts to make peace uh, or bring peace to a work environment or home environment is most appreciated. For those who are in career, this is a time when foreign opportunities could suddenly fall upon your head this week um, and you will be doing your research and homework to find out how beneficial it is. There is also a big opportunity perhaps in a relationship to, to proceed further, perhaps a proposition uh, or uh, discussions of moving to get in together. This is also highlighted. For those who are wanting to have a baby, this is also a good news week regarding that news. If there is any legal documents regard, related to VAT, tax, litigation, this week is also important to get that sorted out uh, through authorities or through your father to make sure that legally everything is clearly stated regarding yourself and how it affects perhaps even your siblings or family members. Um, there is also an increase in rental income for some who have property. So this is a good week. It's a mixed week, but it's a good week. For students, this is a week when you will have to put a lot of effort in. Your concentration is getting a bit weak, Leos. Put your effort in to complete your projects. Uh, the help is there for you but it is about how much effort you wish to put in this week. Now, moving on to Virgo. So Virgo, this is a week when your finances will be under the radar. You will feel you're working very hard, but you're not able to save as much. You will also feel with regards to relationships that there seems to be some form of dissatisfaction in the relationship aspect because the communication has somehow uh, gone down. Now, it is up to you to clear up any misunderstandings and also not to be so stubborn. If you have to apologize this week, then so be it. But bring the harmony and peace back 
into the home life, relationship life. Um, for those who have children, this is a good week uh, for you. You will have to put some effort into them, but you will feel that your effort into your children is now paying off. So this is a very positive thing. With regards to your career, for those who are wanting a change in, your, in their career, this is a good week to start looking to apply to new jobs because this week shows that there is a possibility that you will apply for new jobs. Um, also, I can see that the, the need to travel is here. So you will be booking away, booking trips away as well uh, for the upcoming year. Um, and this is the week that you will be planning where you want to go with you and your family members. I feel that you really have to look at 2023 Virgos with a little bit more positivity. Work will always be here, but where is your leisure time? This week is about that. Thinking about actually how much time do you actually relax? Okay, so with regards to your health, I will say to you that your diet is needing a revamp. Your diet is just getting quite boring or, or the same. So this week, looking at new recipes or asking the family what do they enjoy to eat and making a conscious effort to bring that food into the home will be also a thing I can see you doing. Moving on to Libra. So for Librans, what I can see is this is definitely a time when you will be communicating with lots of different people, trying to execute projects, um, and the onus will be in you participating and collaborating with others. I also see that any work that you are in already, where you are working with other colleagues, that you all will be brainstorming to get some good, efficient methods in place for where you are all working. I can see that those in marketing or advertising will do very well this week and you will learn a lot about how to get um, more of your marketing through the right channels um, and you will learn something perhaps new on social media. Um, but Librans, this is a very good week for those who are working or collaborating with others. Now, here it says that you must pay more attention to your diet, not eating too late at night, um, not being flippant and frivolous, you know, with your eating style. Uh, for some of you, you may be suffering from joint pain or, uh, or water retention. Uh, this is an important week to take a step back and again, look at your health. Health is wealth, as you know. You will be working very, very hard uh, to not take people's criticism to heart this week. You could be quite touchy. Um, so avoid getting upset easily this week, Libra. And this is a quite a sensitive week for you. With regards to siblings, clear up any misunderstandings with them. There could be a chance of working with a sibling or asking for their help this week or they will be asking you for their help for needing your help so again this is highlighted in the cards moving on to scorpio scorpios this is a week where i say that your work life is going through a huge transition you are making a name for yourself in society. You're making a name for yourself with the women and men around you who can see that you're grafting very hard um, and that you want to achieve success. You will get the support of your colleagues and meet new people this week that are willing to take you on to another level. Your communication skills, marketing skills this week are also put to the test. And I feel that you are passing with flying colors. There is also a huge chance that family life is a bit difficult. There could be some people you're not speaking to this uh, for the last couple of weeks, but now it's time you must make a conscious effort to speak to people and make an effort 
to to not lower your standards okay keep be good be happy um and speak to these people because you need to uh keep the momentum going um you need to understand that there's a good day and a bad day um and you've passed the bad days but now it's time to reconcile okay um another thing is about your health i will say to you that your health uh again your food your eating patterns are under the radar um you will have to work extra hard to to make sure that you eat the right things because your body is a reflection of what you eat and you will be conscious of that this week so you will buy all the right things so that you can have the best food uh to give you better health overall this is a good week for food buying the right things for health for your health scorpios this is also a very very important time when it comes to relationships for those in a relationship avoid unnecessary arguments you will be finding yourself very irritated uh in the relationship this week try to see things from the other person's point of view and for those who are not in a relationship it looks like someone from your past will be trying extremely hard to to reconnect with you um and this will be something that you will be quite confused about as to what to do um but let the week progress slowly and let the love life unfold slowly financially again work opportunities could suddenly come about through friends and you will appreciate that that you have been recommended or requested to work you know this is all your hard work so good luck to you just be careful uh with your stomach and your sleeping patterns you may be struggling to sleep scorpios this week suddenly waking up and not able to go back to sleep or a sudden feeling extremely exhausted for students this is a great work a week for you to do team work to get your projects out and i really feel that you're going to feel happy with that there is some secrets that will also be coming out for you this week scorpios that will make you feel quite sympathetic towards others as well okay moving on moving on to sagittarius Sagittarius this week for you is a very very stressful one unfortunately um it looks like you have taken on too much um and you are finding it hard to find or maintain a balance this week you must do what you can but also take rest i feel that this week is about having a rest and recuperating there's going to be ample communication with new groups of people again work opportunities presenting themselves to sagittarius you must be careful with your health you must rest overdoing it it's not the answer it is time for a little break this week any misunderstandings with loved ones should also be cleared up for you this week i feel that uh with mothers or sisters or best friends this week is about resolving issues that have been bothering you also discussions on finances new contracts with new companies is also indicated here for students you will travel a lot and study hard with regards to your education and you will almost almost becoming like a great teacher for your so called friends because you will be imparting or training them or giving them the knowledge about uh, a certain subject or area that they are not familiar with so you realize your own strength and understanding of a subject as you help your other student friends this week for those who have children family this week is about i would say spending more quality time with your family um and not being so busy in your career that you don't spend time with them this week you really have to make a conscious effort to you know to let them know that you're here for those who are single your love life is going to bring you choices 
lots of attention is on you right now. Lots of people think you already are in a relationship. But those who are single, because you ooze with confidence, but now there is a chance that you will have quite a few secret admirers building up this month alone, Sagittarius, and you will have to perhaps make a choice. But I would say to you, don't make a choice. Just enjoy the attention until somebody makes a conscious effort to come towards you. There is also a chance that you will book more holidays away the, a week. Sorry, book more holidays away this week, Sagittarians. Um, however, be careful of your company um, and avoid jumping to conclusions. Be careful, like I said, with your health and make sure you get plenty of rest this week. Okay, moving on to Capricorn. Capricorn, this is where I feel the biggest change for you this week could be that you prefer working from home um, and you will be looking actively for those who are not already working from home. There will be those uh, Capricorns seeking new job roles where they can work from home. There is also a huge chance that many of you will relocate to work from home to save expenses. This is also a time when father's health needs to be addressed. This is also a time when new work opportunities can make you travel to lots of places back and forward this week. Be careful of your driving for those who drive um, and please be careful of not burning yourself out too. Jumping to conclusions this week in love relationships can leave you feeling very uh, regretful of um, getting angry for no reason. I would say to you, Capricorns, keep a cool head on you this week. For those who are single, this is a time when you could possibly meet a new uh, love interest, make a new love interest connection through work, through a colleague. I also feel that this is a week, Capricorns, when uh, your work life, where there could be a sudden job promotion or a new job opportunity within your existing work place. So do take on, um, do read the role spec, the job spec or the role itself clearly and make sure that you're getting the right amount of money, salary for those additional uh, tasks that you may have to take on. Moving <coughs> Sorry, for students, this is a very important week for you to speak to your teachers um, about any further clarity you need regarding existing projects. Um, and if there's any extra time you need to complete a project, this is a good time to, to also raise your concerns with your teachers and try to get an extension on projects uh, if need be. Moving on to Aquarius. Aquarius, this is a very important week for you because foreign travels seems to be the major topic of 2023 for you. This is a week when mother's health will also need your attention. This is also a week when you will be looking at your income, uh, which will suit you. What do I mean by that? Meaning that you may not go for a typical nine to five job. You may go for a job which gives you less hours, but it, it works around you and your peace of mind and your health and your family life. The home will go through a renovation or a change of home discussions this year are certainly taking place. And by September, October this year, for those who are going to move, by September, October is when a buying and selling deal will be completed. With regards to this week, booking holidays with good friends or going to retreats or going to places where you feel emotionally you're feeling much more calmer um, and meeting loved ones, especially or being surrounded by other females, you will feel that the nurturing um, is provided and is making you feel good. Your diet is going to be something that you'll be obsessing with this week because you're under that new year, new year regime where your food intake or food, new food uh, add-ins, should I say, or new food routine, diet, 
new types of food dishes you will be adopting, um, which you which will go well with you, which you feel will suit your diet, your well being, improve your peace, your blood, you know, your hair, your skin. So there's a lot of new things you're doing for self care through cooking this week, Aquarius. For those who are single and not in a love relationship. I can see a foreign relationship or a foreign connection can make you suddenly feel all, all goo goo gaga suddenly. This is a week when someone who does find you attractive will certainly not shy away from letting you know that they find you attractive. For those who are married, this is a week when you lot may decide to book a holiday away and have family quality time together or you will have to, if you have children, Ask the children where they want to go on holiday and book accordingly to that. But honestly, foreign travel seems to be a big part of Aquarius's life. For those who are in work, definitely collaborations with existing partners is going to take place. You will also hear some good news through your children for those who have children this week. So good luck and have a wonderful week. And for Pisces, so Pisces this week is going to be a very romantic one, productive one with your partner. For those who are in relationships, you will feel that they are listening to you, you're booking holidays away, you're feeling very happy. Um, even new changes to the home, for example, throwing out old furniture and bringing in new furniture, buying new dishes, buying new cro crockery. This is a week uh, of uh, buying things for the home that make you happy. This is also a time when, for those who are trying for a baby, we'll hear such wonderful news this week. For those who are at work, you will feel that this is a week to be very diplomatic and not take sides. Suddenly at work, this is a week of productiveness, being productive. Your efforts will be noticed um, let talk less. I'm not saying that you're lazy or anything, but talk less at work in front of seniors. When they do see you, be productive. You will certainly be asked to do overtime um, as the weeks go on because your dedication and, per and persistence has been clearly marked here since last year for those who are in work. For students, this is a great time for students to study and get work at the same time. For those who are applying for abroad uh, visas, etc., this is a great week to hear good news regarding being accepted abroad. This is also a very auspicious week for those um, who don't normally go to the temples or are very spiritual. Suddenly, Pisces, you will make uh, a seek uh, blessings from the spiritual side of things, perhaps go to uh, a temple, uh, go to a place of worship, be more more focused on your prayers. You'll become extremely spiritual, Pisces, this week. But yes, for those who have been trying for a baby, this week you may hear some wonderful news. For those who have been, for the singles out there, this is a great week for you regarding relationships. I feel that this is a week where you could be proposed to. This is also a week where uh, you could be asked to start a new job for those who are seeking a new job. This is also a week when uh, you could suddenly be uh, told that we would like you to take on a senior role because we've been so pleased with the work that you've been doing. With regards to the relationships, again, just going back to that, I feel that for those who are single um, and you're, you, you know that you have a crush on someone, well, let me, let, let me tell you that they know that you have a crush on them. And this week is all about romance for you. You have to attain a balance between your studies and your feelings or your work life and your feelings. This is a very romantic uh, month, a week. For Pisces. I will also say this week, Pisces, that 
with regards to your work, you will have lots of responsibility, but please don't feel that you're just doing it and no one appreciates it. As the month will complete, you will receive positive feedback. For those who want to work abroad or those for those who want to do two shifts of work, I can see that you're being a do it. You will do a lot of travel between now and August between two places and you can earn good money because I can see Pisces that good income is coming your way. House renovations are also here for you, like I've said. So enjoy this time. You will be enjoying the company of your loved ones, especially your partner. And I feel that this week you will feel that you're celebrating perhaps uh, someone's birthday, wedding, anniversary. So this is a very wonderful week for you. The only thing I will say is that be careful with your sweet tooth. Be careful with overindulgence of foods uh, when you've been sticking to a wonderful regime. Um, it's either or or nothing with you, Pisces. So be careful. For those who have children, you will hear very good news from your children this week. Also be careful with siblings. Clear up any misunderstandings. And also when it comes to your partner, for those who are in relationships, that you make sure also that uh, you understand that they may not be going through a wonderful time emotionally, but this is why you're going to have a wonderful week because you'll be there for them and you will give them that emotional support that they need. So overall, for all star signs, this is what the predictions are based on your weekly uh, planets this week. So how I would like to conclude is I will quickly do a tarot card for each star sign regarding love life. So for Aries, your love life is, is that whoever you are thinking of will make a conscious effort to contact you and you will go on that date. So there is a new love interest for you. As for Taurus, for those who are single, it, Taurus... This is a time when someone will offer you a proposition. Someone will offer a relationship to you. They will also want to go away on holiday with you. So there's definitely romance in the air for you, Taurus. For Geminis, this is a time to address a relationship that you've been running away from. And this is a time to make a conscious effort to get it back if you cannot stop missing them. As for Cancer... This is a time for you to be more honest in your relationships and not let the past affect you. If you've been hurt in the past before, the single Cancerian, this is a time to take a risk and don't live in your fear that it won't work out. If you like someone, this is the week to take on that, uh, that risk um, and don't let your past stop you. For Leo, Leo, there is everyone finds you magnetic. This is a, a week when uh, someone will confess their love to you or you will confess their love to them. As for Virgos, Virgos, this is a time of a positive change. Someone that you have longed for or wanted uh, to hear from is suddenly coming to offer you a relationship. Because in the past, perhaps you uh, were not in touch. Somebody from your past is coming forward, Virgo. For Librans, this is a time when a, a romantic uh, date is coming. Uh, for those who are waiting to be proposed to, this is the week of proposal. For singles, this is the time of meeting that one who will want to settle down with you. Scorpios, this is a time when you will have to choose between two different people. The time is coming where the truth has to be told by your heart. Listen to your heart, Scorpios. As for Sagittarius, this is a time when you will also feel that you have to make a choice between two people, uh, Sagittarius, because there seems to be a part of you that's running away from how you really feel about someone and... Uh, you know, it's time to not be childish and grow up and uh, own up to your feelings. Okay. 
As for Capricorn, Capricorn, this is a week when a relationship, your communication with someone that you have your eye on is going to go really well and you're going to laugh a lot and you both will be looking at each other through the eyes. The eyes is the magic this week. Your eyes is the magic this week, Capricorns. For Aquarius, it feels, it looks here that someone from your past who has disappointed you will want to reconcile with you, Aquarius. Now, the thing is, it's not about reconciling with someone. It's about knowing your worth. And Aquarians, this, Aquarius, this is a week when a new love interest versus an old love interest can come on your path and you will have to make your choice. For Pisces, this is a time when a person that has liked you for a long time is coming your way. And this is a time to make an effort to, to talk to them um, and not behind, don't hide behind a wall. Yeah, don't be afraid to, or be shy to express your feelings either, Pisces. Okay, so that was a quick singles overview tarot reading through, just for the singles out there who listen to me. Um, so I'm going to end the show today with all of you to just close your eyes and see a big heart project in front of you. Visualize this beautiful big heart. Is your relationship with everyone, your heart that you can see and visualize as your eyes are closed, is the heart that is within you. And look how beautiful it is. It's red, it's beautiful, it's glittery, it's shiny. It is your heart. Now, who you are, nobody else can be. And who else, and whoever someone else is, they cannot be you. What makes you different from others, listeners, is that you are special, you are unique, and you are in tune with your emotions. And when you are in tune with your emotions, you automatically are quite psychic. And I would say that be proud and, and express love to others all around you and make your place a better place to be in because you are oozing out positivity. As you close your eyes and you see your heart in front of you, if there is a particular person that you would love to give your whole heart to, then visualize that person in front of you and bind yourself with this person with a hug and let there be white light surrounding you and let there be lots of little white heart emojis, red, white, purple, gold, silver, bind you two together. Let there be love and that is all you have to say, let there be love and that you are love and who you are seeking in a love relationship. Let it be perfect. So send out these positive affirmations into the universe and I'm sure that you will reach and receive a beautiful partner in exchange for your beautiful affirmations. So for example, of the affirmations are, I deserve a supporting partner. But even more importantly, to say it in the present tense, I have a supporting partner. I have a loving partner. I have an honest partner. I have a partner who takes care of me and I take care of them. Say such things with so much conviction. This is for the singles out there. And let it be even, actually, no, I take that back. This is for the couples as well. If you feel that your existing relationship is suffering right now, I would request that you do this visual exercise too so that you can have, perhaps you will see results of an improvement in the relationship. 
What is it that you want from the relationship? Send out these affirmations into the universe. I leave you with those thoughts and I leave you to continue visualizing and expressing affirmations of your choice regarding what it is that you need more from your existing partner or what you require from your new partner. Lots of luck, lots of love as always. Please do send me a uh, message through www.karmicpsychic.co.uk and I look forward to see if this this visualization exercise worked for many of you. I would also request for those who would like a chart done, um, please go on to my website www.karmicpsychic.co.uk and for everyone that books a reading um, in this month of January, I will be also requesting uh, a picture of your palms so that I can also give you a free uh, palmistry um, reading with the additional reading that you will choose to do with me through my website. So that is a special offer that I have for you all um, until the end of January. So if you don't want to miss it, book your reading with me this week. Okay, lots of love. Take care. Bye-bye.